Hey everyone, welcome back and in this video we'll be solving this problem that came in J Advanced 2014 using vector triangle method. So I, so guys try this problem out for 3 minutes and then come back for the solution. So now if you guys are wondering why I have all these stickers on my screen, actually there is no reason I just like stickers so I just put them there. Anyways, so let's start reading the problem. So in the problem we have two airplanes which are flying with constant velocity and they are in the same vertical plane. and a is flying at an angle of 30 degrees, B is flying at an angle of 60 degrees. The speed of A is given uh, and at t equal to zero an observer in A finds B at a distance of 500 meters. The observer sees B moving with a constant velocity perpendicular to the line of motion. So, so the observer that's sitting in A sees B coming towards it perpendicularly. We need to find the time at which A just escapes being hit by B. Uh, and yeah, and the relative distance between them is, is given to be 500 meters at t equal to 0 seconds. So yeah, now let's move on to the solution. So let's say this is the horizontal line. Now the velocity of A is inclined to it at an angle of 30 degrees. So this is going to be the velocity of A. It makes an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal. And velocity of B makes an angle of 60 degrees with the horizontal. And it's given that the velocity of B relative to A was perpendicular to the line of motion of A. So the velocity of B relative to A is this vector, right? It's going to be VB minus VA, which means it's, it's going to be this vector. So now if this vector has to be perpendicular to VA, then VA has to be smaller, right? So we actually drew VA to be a bit larger. So let's just reduce its length. So if we reduce it by this much, now this is going to be velocity of B relative to A. And now as you can see, it's perpendicular to the line of motion of A. Now the speed of A was given to be 100 root 3. So the length of this vector is going to be 100 root 3 meters per second. So this is going to be 100 root 3. It will be 60 minus 30, that is 30 degrees. Okay, so from now as this is a right triangle, we can get the value of VBA pretty easily. It will be 100 root 3 times tan 30, which is 1 by root 3 comes out to be 100 meters per second. And it was given that the relative distance of B with respect to A was 500 meters. Now as a relative speed is 100 meter per second and the relative distance is 500 meters, the time taken to cover 500 meters will be 500 divided by 100, that will be five seconds. And that was the answer to this problem guys. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And if you have any doubts, you can comment down below. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.